Next year, District 100 middle schools will be using a proficiency-based report card. This will give parents more information about the progress of their child and better prepare students for high school and beyond. In a traditional school environment, students are expected to learn a handful of academic skills for each class, in addition to work habits, which are things like completing homework on time or following directions. All of these things get mushed together into an entire grade, A, B, C, D, or F. This makes it really hard and frustrating to know how to improve. Let's pretend these eight boxes each represent a skill taught in a class. The orange pixels show how much of each skill a student cannot do. The purple show how much they can do. This would be an A. I feel pretty good about this as a grade. In each of these eight skills, the student understands and is able to perform at a little over 92%. This is also an A. That's probably okay. It's about 90% understanding. The difference here is that the student obviously struggles with one specific concept over the others. But let's move on to another example. This is a C. It shows the student knows most of the concepts. This is often what we think of when we see the grade letter C. The problem is this is also a C. This is a little more alarming. There are some obvious gaps in the knowledge here. When this is all mushed into one grade, students and parents don't know where the gap is. The truth is, in a traditional point-based system, most of the time B's and C's just show that a student knows most of most of the concepts. But a proficiency report card identifies where those gaps are so parents and students know their areas of strength and areas of weakness. All of our skills are reported on a four-point scale. In high schools, where students' grades show up on transcripts for college applications, students earn an A by getting a three or four in all skills for the course. The ratio of twos and threes determines if the grade is a B or a C. So let's go through that another way. This is an A. The student has a three or four in all skills. This is also an A. The student has a three or four in all skills here as well. This is a B. The student has some twos, but at least half of the skills are at a level three or four. This is a C. The student has a majority of twos with some threes and or fours. If a student cannot score a three on any of the skills expected for a class, this is a D, all twos. If a student has any ones, they don't get credit for the class. It's either a failing grade or an incomplete. But the system allows teachers, parents, and students to identify exactly which skill they scored a one on, which means they know better what they need to do to improve. So if you are taking the high school class called What It's All About, a traditional report card may give you a grade like this. But a proficiency report card will look like this. It gives parents and students more information about academic skills and work habits that are contributing to the grade. It shows a student's strengths and a student's weaknesses. Everyone in life needs a little more love and time on occasion. This gives us a system for giving that. Everyone in life is better equipped to improve when they have more information about where they are at. This gives us a system for providing more information. Talk about these questions with an adult at home. Then have them sign the slip saying you reviewed the question. Remember, any middle school team who gets 90% signed returns for the Proficiency Report Card video series gets a pizza party from Dr. Wiesman.